gas system in the city of Odessa and it's coming up for renewal in June of this year and I have uh, Miss Andrea Goodson here if y'all have any questions for her but I'm going to present it to you uh, three weeks from today three weeks how many years is it in force uh, five five years but now we can go up to 10 to 15, 15? Five years. yep we can do that but I was going to propose five years. Currently it's five? Yes, sir. Last time it was signed was in 2018, June 2018. Who's that? Uh, I don't know. That's what I'm about to get. I okay, I was going to say. <laughs> I don't know where. We may have an egg in the place. The chief needs to be doing his job. <laughs> so anybody. He has his eyes on it. Uh, okay, so well, uh, how about five years? Yeah, five years is what we're going to propose. In fact, I'm getting ready to send it back to Atmos, and then we will have it on um, on the board meeting for the, at 6 p.m. on June 13th, I believe. Okay. That's all. That's all. That's it. That's it. Very straightforward. Sure. I'm sure you have nothing to add. To I'm just here to give questions. Okay. Sounds good. We're going to move on to item four, discuss the bid award for Hawkins Construction for Light Renovation at the Woods of Park Aquatic Center. Mr. Christian. Good afternoon, Mayor and Council. Um, I come before Council to uh, consider a bid award uh, for the Woodson Park Aquatic Center. We had a, a light pole fall over uh, when we had high winds about a month ago. And uh, we sent it up to bid. Uh, we sent it to six vendors, and we got one bid back out of those six. We also posted it in the paper as well for the two week uh, for that, and only one bid came back, and that was Hawkins Construction for 151,870, and it's to replace uh, the three poles that are there because when we did or when the previous director did a site walk with the electrical engineer, they deemed that there was rust at the bottom of the other two poles that are existing. Um, it still works, but the, uh, they were worried about the safety and, and, and the integrity of the poles, that the same thing could happen. So their recommendation was to replace all three, and now that the pool codes have changed, you need more lumens on the pool deck and uh, on the uh, water deck or on the water surface as well. So you have to install an inverter now as well uh, for like if uh, you lose power, the lights will still come on. So that's what the inverter does. So the price uh, two to three years ago, the same thing happened at Sherwood Park uh, when we did the light renovation there. So this project's a little bit more due to the inverter um, with that uh, concept. Or, with the new pool code for that, so. Mr. Mayor, is our property insured against things like this? Uh, we don't have anybody for risk management. Does anybody have an answer for that? I'm sure we, we 
there's some sh there's certain insurances and certain properties that are there are, not all. Right. And usually we are self-insured up to 250000 So we basically take care of it ourselves up to the first 250000 Thank you. <clears throat> Council, any other questions? Uh, I do have one. Um, I guess I could preface this with a funny. Uh, there was a cartoon that said um, Texas is going to have severe hot weather, and a guy was looking up at his lawnmower and said, you mean summer? <laughs> My question is, on the renovations or any construction on that pool, it would be done off-season and not to interfere with the... Yes. Okay. <coughs> so we, uh, currently, the lead time is about eight weeks for the pool, uh, for the poles, so we're just waiting. Um, we're going to put over the, where the uh, pole that fell, we can put temporary lighting up there. The other two poles work, so we we can use those uh, that lighting in the meantime. Matthew, real quick, that I was reading this. Uh, so on the addendum, we have no so basically no addendums. So this the, the 151 is a, a solid number. We're not going to see. Any money, uh, any addendums being added, or things of that nature. Or, or the reason is that all this is handwritten. We have a signed uh, document here. Alternates weren't, weren't requested. All that scratched out. But we also come when we come down here to the addendums. None of this is filled out. So, what is the time frame for this? So if you, um, it would go so we, have to put, we have to put it on the, uh, on, on the, uh, the 13th. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to come back on the 13th and then, uh, cause it, we put it under the consent agenda. Okay. Yes. So what's, what, 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 um, so, um, after the 13th, are we doing 30 days? What are we doing? Do we know? Closed question. I'm sorry. So, come up with, with, with this thing. Just, just so we get, get you on there. Um, we still, we do want to make sure everybody hears you out there. I don't know what's about static over there. Can okay, everybody hear us in the back? Yeah. Okay. It's baggy. Doesn't do in a mic check. So, um, I know it's it, uh, 151. So basically is, do we have a time frame? Do we have, do we bid it out with a time frame? No time frame? Uh, no, uh, I don't know what he. So the bid, so we, this, oh, this we, we we've already sent it out to bid. Yeah. So you're, we're awarding we're we're awarding the uh, the contract. Sure. This is what you're recommending is for yes. the Hawkins. Yes. Do we have a schedule for starting to be? The reason why I'm saying is that it is it, it, it will be June, and when are we opening the pools? So the pool is open this this weekend, like but we, so I was, the other two light, t uh, the poles still work. So we were gonna wait to try and get all the material here and all that, because that was about an eight weeks. So that'll be towards the end of the pool season okay. for that. So that's like, that's, yeah, yeah. that's a big deal. We didn't do this during pool season. No, no, no. no. We just wait no. until after pool season. Correct, okay. and we're gonna have a temporary light tower where that other pole fell. Um, we're going to put a temporary light tower there. Okay. So we've secured it where we're not going to have any, uh, any accidents? In. No. At least no. try to mitigate our risk? Yes. Okay. Right. Captain, any questions? All right. Anything else, sir? Okay. We got the next item? Yes. We're going to do item, uh, we're going to go to item five, discuss the uh, screening project for Sherwood Park and Slater Dog Park. Go ahead, sir. So this is uh, for you to consider for a spring project, it's turf reestablishment at the Sherwood Park. There's 14 acres that we're looking to spring. Um, instead of sodding, sodding can be very expensive. So we're, we would shut down those 14 acres with fencing um, to reestablish, because right now it's just common Bermuda. So with all the wear and tear from uh, the soccer teams, we're looking to spring with uh, Tiff Tuff. Yes which is a little bit, uh, it handles the wear and tear a little bit more. So we would have to shut the, uh, that area down for four to well, six to eight weeks. Um, and then we would have signage and uh, 
secured that. And then we also have four acres over at the Slater Dog Park. Um, we're completely bare out there. Um, we've had issues with the irrigation, but we've fixed that now. So we're looking to reestablish uh, the turf at the Slater Dog Park as well. So it's a total of 18 uh, acres. And the total price is 156816 The company is uh, Thomas Turfgrass, and they're on a state contract. I believe it's by board. Okay. Councilor, any questions? Uh, Matt, did you, get a, did you get a quote for sign? We, we didn't because we wanted to, uh, we, we're, we can do that, but we didn't, we went with the spreading option. Why? Um, that was the direction that the previous director wanted to go, and with the comp with uh, it being in a supplemental, I was just following that process. Okay. Okay. Here's the problem I have with that. And back to the, and I apologize, but the Bermuda's already established. Tip Top is a hybrid Bermuda, and you know, if you check with the manufacturer, will it, will it overcome the common Bermuda? I know there's a lot of stickers out there as well. So are we just, it looks like to me, we're not really solving a big problem if we don't, you know, clean that acreage up, get rid of all the stickers. If I'm not mistaken, there's a lot of stickers out there. Well, that we get complaints about it all the time yeah. anyway. So. Well, one, one of the things that we, we, we we're, well, no, I'm sorry. One of the things that we're, the oversight here is this is that the reason why it has Bermuda because it wasn't at the left field. Right. Okay, so the situation is the association chose to leave UTB. They weren't kicked out, they chose to leave. And they then arbitrarily went to, uh, to Sherwood. Sherwood was, uh, was redesigned to be a green space and not an athletic field. Right. So now we are being asked, the taxpayer is being asked to make some uh, changes and recommendations that were put in place by the former director. And I will tell you one thing, when Matt brought it up to me, I had not heard about this one. So my question was to Matthew was this, since the association made the decision to leave UTPB and come to, uh, to uh, Sherwood, a neighborhood park, and now it's being utilized as athletic fields, goals were permanently put in place. I asked the question, what's the association putting into it? Are they reinvesting monies back into the fields? Uh, so I, I don't think that's for Matthew to, to answer, but that's a question I like to pose to the association. Are they making investment? Because the thing is, is that one of the things that we dealt with at UTPB and now that we're doing it at, uh, at uh, Sherwood is what belongs to the city and what belongs to the association. So that's a question that I have. Uh, that's a good question that Councilmember Thompson is saying, is that if we do the spring end, and we go into the spring end, will it overcome the Bermuda? So are we throwing money at it, but in the end, the Bermuda's going to be more tolerant, and it's going to overtake it. So right. is it a temporary fix? Because you also talked about how we have to level the, the field because it's uneven. The reason why it's uneven is because it's not athletic. Field. So these are the things that we're right. taking into consideration. And two, because the former director didn't take any consideration, and if he did, he never communicated that to council. So uh, here, here's, here's the thing, do we make, do we make the expense, 